Hello guys, Doris Mocha here from Soriza254, home of Edutaining Entertainment, where we educate you, entertain you, and inform you at the same time. And today I'm hanging out with Mr. Raima, and uh, Mr. Raima is currently homeless, and uh, we're going to listen to his story and, you know, how are you? Yes, I think I should say I'm pretending to be fine. <laughs> Life is very hard, but again, I'm an artist, by the way. Mm -hmm. I do comedy, poetry, mainly about love or about women. Like the way I see you, I can describe you poetically, vibing, rhyming. You can? Hey! I for example, look, look. Uh -huh, uh -huh, tell me. Your eyes. Mm. Your rags and eyes animated by bushy eyebrows and drives many crazy for their uniqueness. Mm -hmm. It is as if God was listening to music of angels were creating them. Your lips are ruddy and as if the sun arises and sets in your pretty face. That's why men feel like living in a zero meter away from you. Then this skin, hey! Sweetheart, when you sit by my side, the scent of your skin sinks into my soul in a manner that sanitizes my body. Similarly, your sight submerges my sickness when we, sigh, when we sing and sigh simultaneously until we are soaked in a sweet sweat. You are so so my satisfaction since you smear whatever you say with simplicity that's sufficient to suppress stress and sustain stamina. <laughs> it's too long. <laughs> it's too long. So how comes you're this talented and you're homeless? Hey, my friend, it's very hard. Let me tell you. Mm -hmm. When I hear that there is an artist who, who is homeless, that's not a story to me. It's like telling me that the, my cow's milk is, is white. You understand? And again, it's like, oh... If you tell me that there's an artist who is depressed, it's like telling me, for example, that my dog likes meat. That's not a story. Why? There is no government or public institution, even any NGO, that support artists. I'm telling you. For example, being a singer does not require talent. Oh, let me say it does not require talent only. Because you go to studio, you pay money. So it is in this regard that we don't have a platform where we can perform. You see, it's a very long story. Yes, but otherwise I have a talent. So how come you came all the way from Kigali and then you came to be homeless here in Nairobi? No, I did not come here to be homeless. I, I knew that I'm going to make it. I knew that I, was, I would get a green pasture when you come to another country. It's like you, you, you are up country, you come to Nairobi. Mm -hmm. It's the way you can leave your country going to another one, thinking that you can get maybe a better life. The same way, even there are many Kenyans who live in my country. So I always tell people, I think you saw my video on my YouTube. On YouTube yes. yes. Yeah. I was telling that for me, eating is as rare as floods in a desert. I only confuse the hunger. <laughs> I'm telling you, I confuse the hunger. And again, I'm homeless. I spend the whole day ringering, maringering, roitering, and meandering in Nairobi like a lost ghost in a forest. So where do you sleep? I uh, just so you know, many people uh, like artists. They sleep outside. You just go on the veranda of a house. You sleep. Then the following day you wake up. It's a long story, my friends. A long story. But anyway, now that I've got you, you are going to help me to share this story. Maybe I can get people can raise me from this quagmire. So in the video, this is why I was saying that it's like there is someone who told my creator, God, that I'm the one who killed the Jesus. Because I don't understand. I'm a billionaire mentally, but a beggar physically. I always even tell people that my pocket cannot date a beggar's daughter, but my brain can marry a princess. I'm telling you. So whenever someone tells you, hey, Mr. Rai, how are you? I always say, I'm pretending to be fine. I'm telling you to pretend. But there, there, is, there is a writer in Nigeria, he said this, that when suffering knocks at your door and you tell him you don't have a chair for him, he tells you that he has brought his own stool. There is a way suffering comes in the printer and the you wonder why, why me? If, if, if you see a video I did, this is why I said, I was mentioning these big people in the country. Like uh, Ruto, Raira, Uhuru, Gashagwa, Sakaja. I was saying that for them, let me tell them. For you, for me, I barely breathe. Then you, you truly live. Imagine such people, they wake up in the morning and they fail even to choose a car to drive. Why there is someone like Mr. Raima who can even, even get 
just food is hard. Do you understand? So it's like I'm a hunger confuser. I can't say that I can spend the whole week without eating, but you just confuse the hunger, just something little. And when you confuse the hunger, my friend, it pound back. It, it just come back in a few minutes in, and pound me in the print and the pro. It's like it comes back in promotion. So it's very hard. For example, there are many people who are rich, my friend, whereby, like those people I was mentioning, if you give me 5,000, for example, it can be the whole month confusing hunger. But look, 5,000 for people like Ruto, Raira, Uhuru, Gashagwa. That's a cup of tea in a, in a hotel is where they go to. So imagine the way a man survives on a cup of tea of another man. You saw, you saw that video, uh, my weight is 42 kilograms. You are 42 kgs? Hey, 42 kgs, I wish you had a scale here. And 42 kgs, I think it's for weight of like... A, a, a kid of 10, 12, there are people of 12 who have that, that weight. Why? It's because I confuse hunger. So like yesterday, mm. for instance, where mm. did you sleep? My friend, there is a way you just move, when it is dark, you just where you reach. You sleep there. Nobody can tamper with you, you know. But you know people who sleep outside many. And you your totally belongings, know. like... Um, hey, you, you just go and find a friend, maybe who has a shop, you keep like some clothes, then when after like some days you go to have a shower, you pay, you know, there is where you pay shower for like 10 bob, 20 bob, then you change. Life continues like this. But doesn't mean that so life has ended. Here in town you go and pay for somewhere to shower? Yeah, to, to shower, yeah, you pay 20 bob. Of course you can't spend a whole week without showering. It's a long story, but again, I cannot give up hope. I know many artists like me who passed through this hardship. As long as I have faith. I don't have any fear. I know where I'm going to. I always tell people that one day I will become a billionaire Amen. Amen. through rhyming. I rhyme, my friend. Let me give you a rhyme here, you see. For my told you, I rhyme about love. Baby looks sweeter in this sweater. Please come much closer. Just in a zero meter. You can now light your loud and loving laughter. This love makes me better and better. We are born to mingle like bread and butter. Missing you makes me bored and bitter. I, I clearly get every word you utter. I don't mind living and dying under your shelter. Whatever the mama and the mother doesn't matter. Do you understand? I can also say another one. Your face shines like a sunny flower. Your tender look takes me to a tower. I will protect this feeling with all my power. Hope you think about me when you shower. I will find you there tonight to give you a flower. I, I have wow. good vibes, good rhymes. But the fact that I can't even get surviving from it is killing me alive, my friend. And since you rap so much about love, do you have a girlfriend? <laughs> is there anybody who can love a hunger confuser like me? You know, you love cannot love a boy? Uh, anyway, but you again... You must have somebody. But let me tell you, you meet a girl. You ask her number. The first question, what do you do? Eh? Hey? It's like, what's your name? That's my question. Then the answer, what's your job? Hey. Hey. Suppose she says, I want to come to visit you. Where would I take her? Suppose she says, send me just some, let's say bundles or credit. How will I? Hey, it's a wrong story. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, apart from uh, maybe being an artist, is there like a way that you normally hustle? Ama, it's just I hustle there, here and there. You know, like this, that place of history. Mm -hmm. So, Mr. Raima, how mm -hmm. would you maybe like people to help you? Or uh, first of all, I would like to talk to your fellow, my fellow content creators, to come and help me in sharing this story, and they can reach me on my number. 0722-96-34-41 and a message to His Excellency William Ruto. The only thing I share with you is the air. Please raise me from this quagmire. It doesn't mean that I want to be rich like you. Only that I 
although I know that is possible, but let me put this aside. Raise me from this quagmire, and God will reward you in plenty and plural. Thank you, Kenyans. Thank you guys for watching. Till the next one. Bye.